Hey guys, it's Invader Bethany here. How y'all doing? Um, this shirt I'm wearing, I originally made it, um, for an anti-prom in 2013. Um, I, I wasn't allowed to go to the normal senior prom, um, so I held my own prom here, and I made it costume theme because that's fun, and I got together, um, you know, fabric, got the shirts, and there's a skirt that went with it, but that was three years ago, and this thing, it's tight on me. It, um, my body proportions have changed. I can't have that on top of the shoulders, otherwise you got it up here, where this part's supposed to be down here, and this bottom part won't even, it keeps rising up, it won't even just stay down, so. Yeah, this, this outfit, it's, it's really tight. <laughs> um, I mean, it's loose in certain spots, like it's loose here. But it's not to the body proportions that it should be. So I'm wearing it today um, because I wanted to get a few more use uses. I wanted to get a few more uses out of it before I had to get rid of it. Okay. Number two. Two. Number two. There is an ant problem going on here. I know there's always it's it always seems like there's problems happening here. But legit, we got ants and stuff, so um yeah, I might have to get up at some point. I might I might get attacked by ants, I don't I don't freaking know. I mean they're small. They're small, they're just gonna mainly want food and stuff. But sometimes they crawl on you and it's not pleasant to, uh, have bugs on ya. No, it's not pleasant. And also, I'm doing a food video. Um, so, that's another reason why, um, stay down, yeah. That's another reason why, uh, ants might come over here. So, yeah, just warning you guys about that. Alrighty, so I've never had one of these before. Camera's over there, Bethany. There we go. It's called a whoopie pie. Um, I don't even think I've ever heard of it before. Um, I, you know, most most pies I think of are, you know, actual pies or moon pies. But this looks more like a cookie. It's like a very like oatmeal like cookie substance type thing with you know filling. And this exact one, this exact whoopie pie, is a peanut butter whoopie. It's got white flour. No. I'm already messing up. It's got white wheat, flour, brown sugar, whole wheat flour, peanut butter, mar margarine, margarine, is that a word? I hope that's a word, because if it's not, then I messed up. So margarine, eggs, water, soda, baking powder, and salt. And the filling inside, this part, this part, this part, that part, is powdered sugar, peanut butter, margarine, water, and vanilla. And this was made, um, homemade, I don't know by who, but it was homemade, and sold at one of those farmer market things. 
um, in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. Uh, you know, PA, Pennsylvania. I think I got that right this time. See, um, the juice thing I did, I said California, and the product wasn't actually California. I messed up. <laughs> uh, I actually sent, um, the, the, the company a link, because I was like, yeah, I reviewed your product, go check it out. And then it's like, checked out the website more, and it's like, no, I got the location wrong. They're going to think I'm a dummy. And that was after I sent them the link to the video, and they're like, oh, cool. We're going to show it to everyone, basically. Yeah. I messed up. I'm, I made, made a whole company think I'm a dummy. It's not good. It's not good. Alright. So, back to this. It's already falling apart. I got a plate here. Yeah! Um, to catch crumbs. Because I don't want the ants to come. And they go marching one by one. The ants go marching one by one. The ants go marching. Na 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 Yeah. I don't want that. Alright. So here's the cookie. It's falling apart. It's already falling apart. I, it's it's going to fall apart. It's going to fall down. So I'm just going to have to tear bits off of it to eat it. Um, yeah. So this is what a little piece of it looks like. You got a lot of that filling in there. It's gonna fall, it's gonna fall apart even farther. Okay, I got to get more off this. This is a messy treat. This is this is a messy, messy, messy cookie. So if you get one, prepare to make a mess. Hopefully I don't make too much of a mess. I get the plate, but you never know. Alright, so um num num time. Hmm. Okay, so the cookie itself is not much like an oatmeal cookie. It just looks like an oatmeal cookie. Um it's very it's very like brown sugar flavored. Like the actual cookie part of it, the main the main taste of it is brown sugar. And the filling part is kind of like how do I describe it? You know those um chocolate Easter um eggs that have peanut butter in them? Not like Reese's or any of the brick brick. Not any of the big name ones, but you know, ones that might be like homemade or, um, I don't want to call it generic because it's good, but you know, lesser known companies, those ones. Um, it's kind of like that type of peanut butter. It's like an icing type of peanut butter, not like a Jif peanut butter, not a clumped up, um, Reese's peanut butter. This is like a, this is like an icing type, icing type consistency. It's all um, fluffy. Fluffy is a good word. It's fluffy. Those little parts, though. Even, even they're making crumbs. So, if you ever get one of these whoopie pies, um, make sure you have a plate. Because otherwise, you're just going to get crumbs all over the floor. And then ants are going to come and be like, Oh, we're going to have ants. Family Guy reference. Um, but seriously, this, this, this makes a lot of crumbs. 
this here makes a lot, a lot, a lot of crumbs. And if you don't have plates, you're going to get them on the table. You're going to get it on the floor. You might attract bugs. Because seriously, it does not take very much to attract bugs. <laughs> Like, all, all it has to do is, like, rain outside, and it's like, ah, we got bugs in the house now. Ah, they're gonna eat our food. It's like, oh, no, I left some crumbs on the table, and it's like, ants, ants everywhere. I opened up a Dr. Pepper, left the room a bit. Ah, like, three ants on the can. It's like, why? I opened that, like, less than five minutes ago. When I had to leave the room real quick and I come back and you've already got it? It's like, really? Really, Hans? Really? It's like, why do you even want that here? I know it's, I know it's a lot of sugar, but you're just gonna get in there and drown. Someone around a Dr. Pepper, even if it tastes good, is not gonna be fun. Ants are just gonna drown in there. If somebody's not careful, they're going to drink that. And you have ants and drinking Dr. Pepper. It's, it's not fun. I don't get it. I don't get it, ants. And you, don't, you also don't got tunnels in here. You can't tunnel around and stuff in a house. You can do that outside. And people might be like, oh, well, you know, inside, ants don't have to tunnel, so it's more convenient. Well, you know what? <laughs> I have a hamster. And he, he's he got, you know, houses and stuff to hide inside of if he wants. And he does. But he still wants to tunnel. He still makes little tunnels and digs and sometimes he even tries to dig the bottom of his cage it's like dude eddie you can't you're not gonna be able to scratch that open and dig deeper so even when something doesn't have to tunnel and it's used to tunneling it's got the instant instant instincts no instincts instincts Yes, instincts to tunnel, it's so ingrained in that animal, they're going to still do it, even if they don't have to. So, it's like ants, you can't tunnel in here, you should go back outside and go tunnel around. I, I get that food is more um, available, but I don't get it. I mean, you're going to get noticed, you're going to get smacked. You're gonna die. <laughs> I don't think a little drop of Dr. Pepper or the possibility of drowning is worth the possibility of getting smacked. Because it's an instant death for a bug. I don't get it. I know they're small, but even small things still have brains. Um, anyways. Back to this. It's amazing what, um, you know, small groups can do. Like homemade stuff. Maybe made by like one, two, maybe three people. Not like a big company thing. But they can still make really good quality stuff. I like cooking, it's a lot of fun. And if you're good at it, you know, you can make a profit like these guys did. But, you know, to actually be out there and sell your stuff. Sell your merchandise, sell your food, sell whatever. That, um, that takes commitment, especially if you're the only person making your product. <laughs> it takes time. It takes time to keep baking and baking and baking stuff to sell and you might even doubt yourself especially if you don't make much money from what you do and you know you gotta pay bills but 
if they love what they do enough and they make a good enough quality product that people want to buy it, then they're doing something right. Props to Props to Martha's Goodies, the makers in Green Castle, PA, of this really, really good cookie. The only thing is, though, I wish I didn't make so many crumbs and get crumbs all over your fingers. But, um, yeah. I'm gonna save the rest for later. Thanks for watching. Bye! That's my left hand. Why am I using my left hand? Well, I'm both handed. Um, I can do stuff with both hands, but I use my right hand more often than my left hand. So I don't know why I was waving with my left hand, but... Whatever.